Five days after five people froze to death on Salt Lake City streets, the mayor and the state's top homeless coordinator are making plans to provide more places to stay. It is our top story on 2 News at 5 tonight. Thanks for being with us. I'm Heidi Hatch. I'm Mark Cabell. These deaths and the winter weather shining a light on the shortage of shelter beds in Utah and major flaws in the homeless response. Christina Flores joining us live right now downtown with more information on the deaths. And Christina, more shelter beds will be added now. Is that right? Yes, that is right. But the state's homeless coordinator also said that those beds will not open up tonight or anytime soon. And that's a big concern because it's about to get really cold again. Over the last five days, five people have frozen to death on the streets of Salt Lake. One man was found frozen in a tent. Another couple died right in front of the new homeless resource centers. And now Mayor Mendenhall of Salt Lake, which has three homeless shelters. People's lives are being lost because the system is not working. And the state's homeless coordinator, Wayne Niederhauser, even running at capacity, admit there is a big shortage of winter shelter beds. Niederhauser says the state miscalculated the need. We had 340 beds that uh, we had ready for the winter. We had them open in November. We were monitoring it every week. Now, Mayor Mendenhall and two other mayors where the state's five shelters are located signed emergency orders adding another 95 shelter beds. But Niederhauser says those beds won't happen tonight or anytime soon because shelters are short-staffed. They're slowly able to get additional staff staffing and that continues to grow but it doesn't happen overnight. The response comes days after Wendy Garvin's nonprofit group and its volunteers sounded the alarm to city and state leaders telling them early last weekend that people were freezing to death. We know for sure, like we found them. Wendy's group housed 85 cold homeless people in a church over the weekend because there was no shelter space. She says if there were beds in the overflow shelter in Mill Creek, getting people there is difficult. So is calling there. The central number, which we call, does not get answered. Repeatedly, day after day after day, night after night, nobody answers the, the single point of contact that's supposed to help you find a shelter bed. Everyone agrees that there are communication and logistics issues when it comes to housing homeless people and getting them out of the cold. Today, Mayor Marin, uh, Aaron Mendenhall and also Wayne Niederhauser did say that there is new money committed and a new effort committed to helping people who are homeless get out of homelessness in the long term. But in the meantime, the concern right now is getting people out of the cold and dealing with a lack of staffing at local shelters. As for the five people who died, they've not yet been identified. The medical examiner has not issued an official cause of death, but the mayor said today it is reasonable to assume that they died in part or wholly because of the cold. Live in Salt Lake City, Christina Flores, KUTV 2 News. All right, Christina, thank you. Difficult news today. If you'd like to learn more, you can see our past reports on what is being done to help people experiencing homelessness. You can go to KUTV.com. You can scan that QR code you see on your screen to download the 2 News mobile app.